what business do I start? I see this a lot with people asking how they would start their own business. I, this is how I made my $50 into $450. My first $50 I invested for my own job into $450 and I bought the products at, I bought five products. Four hundred fifty. Another, another investment that I did. I saw something else. Was it four hundred fifty? It was a bit. It was a bit. That was like four fifty dollars. Four hundred fifty dollars. I'm trying to do the math. This was a while ago now. This was about six months ago. But I found. I felt this very. I felt a big triumph feeling over it. I felt very like like a huge level of triumph. <sighs> Sorry, it's really, really late and I'm really tired, but yeah, it was something like that. I turned, I bought five products at $10 each and I sold them for 50 and that's 250 and then I made something else. I made another 200 off a deal because I pitched this guy. He wanted more of my products and I didn't have any stock at the time. So I remember this, I remember this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted four and that was 200 and that's a pretty hefty order for me, but I didn't have it at the time. And the stock's coming in. No, the stock already came in and I already gave it to him. But I'm thinking, about, my mind is, my mind is all over the place. It's, it's pissed me off, guys. It's pissed me off. But um, he, so I, I made my 250 and then I made my 200, and it was, it was, it was glorious. I made it. I took some pictures. I don't, I don't know flex because I don't get robbed. <laughs> but when, when starting a business, you have to ask yourself three major questions. All right, it was. I think about it, I'm happy, alright? I think about it, I'm happy. It's in the Psychology Cells by Byron Tracy, I half read that book, I haven't finished it yet. It's very stupid of me. I should have finished it, what the fuck am I doing? But I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go I'll probably read a bunch, like an hour before I go to bed. It's gonna be 5 a.m. People wake up this time, I'm going to sleep. I fucked up my sleep, it's just horrible. I need to wash dishes tomorrow, I got a bunch of shit to do tomorrow. Don't beat me, don't fuck up your sleep. I'm doing this purely because I feel the creative energy flowing and I really want to air, record videos. And I got I got that spark in me, you know. You got a spark. When you got that spark, you just gotta chase it. You gotta keep it ignited. You gotta blow into it. <laughs> you gotta you keep that spark going into a flame. What was it again? Moving on to my main point, you gotta ask yourself three questions. What am I good at? Very important. What am I passionate about? Very important. And what value can I bring to the market? Very very important. All right. You could be good at. Okay, most things you're good at, you probably enjoy. Right, that's the way it goes uh, when you're starting a business. Most things that you are good at, you will probably enjoy. If I was amazing at, I'm okay at badminton, but if I was like ultra amazing, like I can't, like, I can't, this is the problem with my medium problem. I could smash in the past in badminton, like whoa bang, and it used to be very hard. But I injured my wrist at some point from boxing, and I really couldn't smash anymore. It just, I didn't have that same explosive, fast muscle uh, twitch fibers fucking ability in me anymore and it pissed me the fuck off and ever since then I've just been playing endurance like I don't need to hear any sky which just pissed me off but the way it goes you, I got rusty you know what I'm saying I have no one to play badminton with as well it's very very annoying I might ask my friend to play with me I mean, as a video as a video idea <laughs> I, I might do it you know it, it sounds interesting okay what was it again what am I good at? And what am I passionate about? What is your passion? Personally, my passion is fucking profit. All right. You, if you, as a hustler, as a grinder, grinder, yo, as someone who's an entrepreneur, your passion needs to be profit at the forget go. Because if you, because if you, if you're passionate for profit, you can do something you don't like. But as long as you're getting paid, bro, build to sell to invest, easy. That's your strategy. Like. If you have a software company that you don't really like, like you don't like fucking software, at some point it's boring, it's fucking cold, you're surrounded by geeks, you don't like it, the lifestyle. But then you sell, you build your company for three years. The next year you build your company, things are looking good. You have in insane revenue. Your software is doing really, really good. You're running ads in it. You've got increased revenue from that. You're earning $50,000 a month. $50,000 a month. So the next month you're earning $60,000 a month. This is purely hypothetical, but entirely possible. And... You get offers. What's sixty thousand times twelve? Let me do the math on that. That's worth doing the math on. Because that's how you like that's quickly like a rough estimation how you would value your company. That's yearly income, right? Let's say you that's personal income is sixty K, but your 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 company's earning what? Let's 
that's the best profit margin but saying you're covering only 200k you're covering only 200,000 right 200 that's 2 million bro what the fuck times 12 you're earning 2.4 million within your business that's a year someone pays your company for the next 8 years you can start a company for uh, 20 million 19 million 19.2 million respectively if they pay over 12 years which is a good deal you can, pay, you can sell your company for 28 million you're fucking set you don't even like software fuck it sell your company entertain offers sell your company Make a bunch of money, liquidation event, live in Dubai, take all the money for yourself, put all the personal income, ta- uh, income. Pay, off, or pay off all your staff, you go find more jobs. The, or they, they can be with a new company, a new boss, not, not your issue anymore, put yourself before your company. Guys, a company, like, I told this guy before, who who is slightly immature, he's a fucking 17 year old kid, what the fuck did I expect? I, I used to go to this guy for advice, but I, as I, how do I say this, mature and grow up and understand the reality, harsh reality of the world, this guy's a fucking idiot, and I should not take advice from him. It was just like you, you gotta, you gotta see who you're taking advice from. He's like a video gaming fucking retard. You should not um, take advice from him. I'm, I'm, I'm a retard too, sometimes. <sighs> Back to my point. My point, so, bro. Put yourself away. Your business is a t- is a tool to make you rich. All right. So that's your passion. Your passion is profit. All right. Put that, put that forefront. If you don't like something that you're doing, be passionate about the profit. And make sure you get paid, which is, which is what I'm fucking doing. That's two questions so far. What am I good at? What is my passion? And last question, what value do I bring to the market? It's very, very fucking important. This is the most important question of all, right? Because this is what gets your bills paid. This is what gets the money coming in. With my boxing gloves business, the value that I bring is because I made a thing. I got quality boxing gloves. I had a successful sales pitch. People needed it because their wrist would break, and it looked nice. What else? It was very aesthetic. What else? What is it again? The price. The price was really, really good. It, it was the best in the market, which is not the best sales pitch because if you if you um, have your sales pitch as your price is best in the market, but then you sell for cheap, like you're just gonna end up getting attracting dickhead customers, which is what happens most of the time. Like. Um, or well, someone I know and love personally who has a business who sells um, stuff very cheap. I'm not selling explicitly. I mean, who, I don't really fuck. He sells hair colors, right? He sells, very, he sells like uh, L'Oreal, Majorelle, uh, fucking other some shit like that. Hair colors. He sells. He's a, he's a hairdresser. He sells a bunch of shit like that. He's very successful, very successful. But he gets a lot of dickhead customers. He's good, he gets a lot of dickhead customers. I don't get any dickhead customers, right? I might I might not get a lot of customers in the first place, but I don't get any dickhead customers. This might change with the course of time, the passage of time, where I get more customers overall. Um, but I, for the most part, I haven't got really got a dickhead customer. Like, for the most part, I've got phenomenal customers because I bring value to the market and my price is relatively high, 45. 45, 45 pounds for boxing gloves, 50 pounds for a set. And I, I, I constantly, with a customer, as, as a hustler, as an entrepreneur, you have to constantly look to increase your prices so you can make more money. It's far better to charge the current clientele more money and to try to look for more uh, new clientele, so uh, and then you can get more income that way. Anyways, last question: What value can I bring to the market? I bring value through th- those particular ways. You will not bring value through another quaint cafe in a quaint neighborhood with some quaint fucking bullshit coffees, macchiato latte, vegan bullshit like that. Like when you, when I go to a cafe, I don't care about the coffee, right? I iced coffee, sweet sugar, yeah, yeah. Look, ice cream, aha, uh-huh. um, yum, yum. I don't give a fuck about all the bullshit. I remember this, I was at a coffee once, coffee shop with my mom. And I said, would you like your cafe mochiano? Da, 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 da. I don't care. Nobody gives a fuck. Most cafes are like that, that are, um, are solo entrepreneurs, solo entrepreneur, uh, solo entrepreneur, run. Like they're, they're run by a solo entrepreneur. Usually fail. They usually close. How many cafes have you seen open and close within the last six months within your area? Probably a fuck ton. Because there's a, a fuck but a load of issues that you're seeing with that, that type of business model that, that that's completely behind the scenes you're not seeing the fact that the comp the, the owner of that cafe is completely absorbed with his business that he's still trading his time that was a fucking voice crap i'm like damn <clears throat> he's still trading his time for money which is never good you should need to divorce for divorce your time for money moving on to more important point He's still trading his time for money. He's, he probably has like one or two staff helping him with the business. They probably want raises. He, that's extra stress because that's extra business expense for him. Bills. He needs to, he, uh, bills from the shop he needs to pay. His own personal bills. His own fucking food shop. Rent. Duh, 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 duh. 
electricity, electricity bill, gas bill, fucking, maybe he's got a girlfriend, he's got a wife, kids to take care of, this business is not paying enough, da -da -da -da. and he might make six, seven thousand pounds a month, for example, that's a very handsome amount, right, on paper, seven thousand pounds a month, 20k, 12k, 12, 12k, 20k, I don't know the tax, particularly tax on that, what's seven times 12, that's 84, Maybe 20k will go, 64k, um, and then another fucking, potentially, a few, a few uh, other thousand, like, 7,000 pounds a month with a cafe is kind of shit, you probably have one staff maximum, paying 20k or some shit, a year, 25k, that's a heavy business expense, if you only make 7k a month, how much money, take the money you actually get for yourself, like, just for yourself in your bank account at the end of the fucking day, like, how much do you, money, maybe, maybe a thousand if you're fucking lucky, that's actually grim, because of taxes, they'll get, like, your A4 grand, how much do you get taxed on A4 grand? My math is correct, man. why is my stupid phone password not working? 7, 12, 84, yes, of course, I'm right, I'm Asian, good at maths. How much do you get taxed on 84 grand UK? Oh, 56k. They take fucking 30k? What's it? Well, you get, you get 56,520 pounds after tax. You are some dickhead. Minus 56, 520. They take 30k almost, 27k. That's from tax, and then probably bills rent, that's another 1,000 a month, that's 12k, so that's 56, 520 minus 12k from 1,000 pounds a month, that's 44 minus 20k of your staff, the one staff you have, that's 24k, minus maybe um, your own personal expenses, which is around... If you've got a family, either way it varies. It could be a thousand five hundred or thousand a month. Let's just say another twelve K. You get twelve K home pay. From A four grand You get twelve K home. That's pure like twelve K go fucking spend it on a mortgage or a car or finance. So I think about what value could you can bring to the market and make sure you do it in a Concentrated way, in a way you can earn a lot of money. A lot of money. This money is infinite, guys. I hope anyone that watches this video becomes successful and then comes back to me and like at least surround yourself with me. I'll I'll probably be successful by then. I probably won't need you. I won't need you. That's that sounds fucking harsh as fuck. But I won't need like the connection. You know what I'm saying I don't like friendships that are purely based on materialism. Like they don't have any substance to him because then you don't really have anything in common of interest, just money. And those relationships can often prove. How do I say this? Plastic. Oh, my back fucking hurts. And that's not very good for a relationship. <sighs> As for staff, like, I wouldn't recommend getting a lot of staff in the beginning. Like, even me, like, I'm not probably going to get a lot of staff in the beginning. I don't have money. Even if I don't, if I, if I did have the money, I would not pay them for a while unless I could, could not possibly, like, think. Manage it. Staff, you only get staff in order to make you money, like sell staff or to save you time, which is very, very valuable. Which is like a personal assistant. Like I might get one of my friends as a personal assistant, or a PA, and I like a video editor, video editor my shit, do my work for me, you slave. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it. Staff have to save you time and make you money. Make sure you you become as successful as possible. As, as successful as possible and as successful as you possibly can guys this could be like 10k a month 15k a month in a, in a trillion dollar economy how can you not make 10 15k a month come on bro come on man uh. <laughs> i'm very tired guys I'm about to reach 50 minute mark. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Sayonara. This is my last video of the day. Sayonara. Fake smile. I'm not a fake smile anymore. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. <laughs> Sayonara for real.